Hey everybody, it's Melanie and I just wanted to do a video um, about stupid questions and stupid comments that I'm getting from people who know that I'm having surgery. Um, at my work, someone, I don't know who, but someone kind of let it slip that I'm going to be having bariatric surgery. So now I'm getting questions and stupid comments and it's just, it's, some of them really piss me off. Here I go, getting pissed off again. <laughs> uh, let's see, people are asking me, are you getting excited? No, really, no. I think I'd kind of like to stay 300 pounds. What the hell do you think? Yeah, I'm getting excited. I mean, hell, it's just the rest of my life. Wouldn't you be excited? Please. So, somebody asked me, on the pre-op diet, are you hungry? Seriously? Let's see, I'm taking in 800 calories a day, mostly liquid. Now, I'm just having a freaking feast, aren't I? It's just a regular old party in my house. Here, I can't finish the last two ounces of this protein shake. Don't you want it? Yes, I am hungry. I'm freaking starving. I can eat my own leg right now. 800 calories. Are you hungry? God. <laughs> Someone, this is no kidding. Somebody actually asked me this. Are you going to pamper yourself while you're home from work after your surgery? Pamper myself. Oh my lord. You don't even know. You know, I've got this hunky masseur coming over and I'm going to get my nails done and my hair done and I'm going to lay around on this big old stack of fluffy pillows and just bask in the glow having lost 3,000 pounds overnight. God, have you ever... In reality, I'm going to be home. I'm going to be trying to remind myself to sip every 15 minutes and take my pain meds and try to keep from throwing up and walk and just try to recover. I'm going to pamper myself. Y'all got the hot tub all fired up waiting. Y'all come on over. We'll have us a big old party. <laughs> Somebody said... Um, I bet it bothers you when we bring food into the office. <laughs> did you, I mean, do they seriously just say that to me? You know, and I was like, I, and just note that all these answers that I'm giving now is not what I told them, but I'm just what, what I would love to tell them. You know, if they paid any attention, they would notice that I don't go around the food that they bring into the office. I don't eat lunch with them. I don't go to the break rooms. And that's on purpose. Duh. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody said, you're so lucky. You're going to lose weight without even trying. Yeah, it's just going to melt right off. I'm going to come home from the hospital and this be a size two. Please. Anybody who's had this done, you know that it's freaking work. Surgery is a tool, and you have to work it to make it work for you. Yeah, I'm just going to sit around eating Cheetos. <laughs> they said you're going to be able to eat anything you want soon. Yeah, that's right. Cheetos. God. It's just crazy. Uh, you know, oh, you're going to be so beautiful. Oh, and I guess I look like hammered shit now. <laughs> oh. Do any of you, have any of you veterans ever experienced this? I mean, it's like people just leave their brains at home or something. I mean, try to think. Get real. Uh, I try to laugh, but it's just so I don't get completely flipping angry. You know, it's just... Uh, <laughs> It's very insensitive, some of the questions that you get. Uh, somebody said, oh, I just can't wait to see you after surgery. And I had to say, I'm not going to lose the weight overnight. It's going to take a while, and it's going to be a very gradual change. And they just think that it's just like going and having my tonsils taken out. I'm just going to just bounce right on back and, and be right back to work just like that. And I'm like... 
no, they're removing 80% of my stomach and they're rerouting my intestines and I'm going to have all these little incisions and, you know, I'm having to recover from some major rebuilding work in here. You know, good gracious. People, <laughs> put your brains in. Get some sense. Uh, well, if any of you have experienced anything like this, please share. Uh, if you have any good comebacks. Because, <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I can be a mouse. Sometimes, like if I'm around my best friend, I could be a real smart ass. But uh, in front of folks, I have to be polite. You know, Miss Southern girl, we have to be all nice and submissive and all of that and be a little shy violet. And boy, I'd love to fire back. <laughs> if y'all have any good comments, please let me know. Anyway, y'all have a great one. Love y'all. Sparkle on.